Hello, this is a presentation to show you uh, how to install the trailer tow hitch for the 2019 Toyota Prius Echo. These are the specifications for the specific tow hitch I installed on the vehicle, the Toyota Prius. You can see the part number, UPC number, and eBay item number if you're interested. Here are some warnings that come with the part. Some more information about the tools needed. You will use a screwdriver flathead, Phillips head. You will also use a removal tool for a the plastic removal tool or pry tool. They call them plastic trim tools at times. And you would also use other uh, things like markers, cutters, adjustable wrenches, sockets. Here's the drawing of the assembly. As you can see, the tow hitch assembly goes sandwiched between the bumper of the vehicle and the frame of the vehicle using the four or eight bolts, four on each side that are existing. They go again in between the bumper of the car and the frame. You put the tow hitch assembly in between that. You have to align not only the bolts, but you have to also align. There is a hole in the middle on each side of the tow hitch assembly and there's a hook or tab on each side of the bumper assembly that goes through the hole and through the hole on the frame on each side. That hole you will have to bend just slightly just like this figure, figure 4. Make it a little straighter that way it'll go in a lot easier during installation. I did not have to do this in my installation and installation well uh, went okay, went well. I was able to install it without having to bend it, but the manufacturer does recommend you make that bend. You will have to be removing these three panels from the bottom rear of the bumper of the vehicle three panels and then there's a the fascia trim on the rear that you will have to be removing or at least partially removing as I did you will have to remove 14 plastic push type rivets and three threaded panel fasteners from the bottom these are the push type rivets on the on the passenger side and that's how it looks with that panel on that passenger side removed some more push type rivets and a tab there that you have to remove for the center panel or the right side panel there are those um, screw type fasteners that you have to take off three of them same one here just unscrew to the left and make sure you pull down as you unscrew there are more of those uh, rivet type fasteners you have to push up or push pull down on the on each side with a flathead screwdriver and pull evenly. Make sure you wiggle them that way they come off easily and don't break. There are two screws on each one on each side that hold the fascia trim. You have to take those two screws and secure them. 
there's that screw on that one side that I believe that's the driver's side there's also a tab you gotta make sure remember that tab make sure that you push it uh, down or pull down the fascia and that tab will be uh, will come out the manufacturer recommends you remove uh, the harness tabs but I just don't recommend that just leave them alone you don't have to remove those you do have to remove these tabs though these white tabs push up on the small side or push down push down with a screwdriver on the on the uh, small side and push out at the same time towards the larger side there's that uh, screw and tab on the other side that's the passenger side remove the screw and push down the tab again that harness does not really need to be removed or the, uh, the fastener for it leave it in place there's some more of those tabs they need to push down to remove the fascia or to partially remove it there you can see some more of those white tabs that need to be removed the black tabs white tabs and I do recommend you remove the fascia just on the sides that'll be enough for you to get in there and do the hitch installation you have to cut uh, the center panel in a pattern about like that trim it I used a sawzall you can use a pair of scissors industrial scissors or any type of other cutter such as a box cutter be very very careful if you use a knife or, or box cutter I would drill holes to get the cutting tool uh, in those holes in the corners I performed this cut right here not the square cut this one is a little uh, more form shaping or taking uh, to the toe hitch the shape of the toe hitch itself and I believe it's a little better because it, uh, it allows less air to come into that panel and it does not cut into those aerodynamic fins I believe they're there for a reason so this is the cut with approximate measurements of about five and a half inches wide about two and a half inches on each side each shoulder and about four four and a half inches four and three quarter inches on the middle that's the appropriate shape and you can go ahead and install the assembly as you can see the tow hitch assembly goes sandwiched in between the bumper assembly this is the bumper assembly the screws there are four two on the bottom two on top on each side eight total just match the holes on the tow hitch assembly with the uh, bumper assembly and then match them up with the holes on the frame you may have to have some help or you can hold it you know with some items maybe like a jack stand or something hold one side with a jack stand and then lift the other side in place and be very careful patient line it up and make sure you hand start your screws don't start your screws with any kind of power nut driver or impact gun or drill or anything like that you may damage 
not only the screw but the frame side which it's something that you really don't want happening and that is the hitch tow hitch installed with the panels on back on follow follow the same pattern put the fascia on first the trim first put in all the tabs then put the side panels put all your rivet type fasteners on and then put the screw type fasteners on and then put the center panel on the one that you did the cut on make sure all the fasteners are on again make sure the all the clips go on the fascia make sure your screws go on that is even before you put the panels the other panels on and make sure all the panels are secure in place with all the fasteners on that is the panel on the driver's side center panel and that is the hitch assembly already put on as you can see it is uh, very conspicuous and it fits uh, very nicely on the vehicle